2014 Hase GSL Season 1 Round 8 Life vs. Maru Looks like uh, it's Yansu Tasis. Yansu it is. I think this could be either player's map actually. Maru's yeah. got very strong pushes on this map. I prefer it overall for Terran. Mm -hmm. But, uh, you know, life, life can make something happen here. Definitely a map that we've seen a lot of mech on in the past. We could see that here as well. That is a lot of people in the audience. This is the biggest audience we've had in a very long time. Yeah, this is actually uh, it's packed in here. A lot of support for Mario. I'm sure a lot of fans of Life here as well. Oh, no doubt. These two are big fan favorites overall. They're just such badass killers. They are deadly nerds. Ah. Excuse me, I got a little bit of a runny nose today. Yeah, you do have a little bit. Yeah, I actually yeah. have a <coughs> tiny bit of a runny nose I've today. heard actually it might be some of the, some dust coming in here. Oh, yeah. In the air nowadays. Um, yeah. Especially this week because one of my friends have got um, just, you know, sinus problems right now and stuff mm -hmm. like that. That happens. Dusty season. Yep. And so now the um, the drone's going to come over here. We're going to see a fast expand. But after the pool. Yep. Well, it's so. important to note, Life has been very interested in pooling a lot early on. Mario is pretty much proxied in every single game he's had, or every single series, I should say, in a GSL. That's true. That's one of the reasons why he is so good. Now, he's going for a Reaper, but there's going to be a Queen out uh, much quicker than he's used to with this build, so I'm not sure how much damage that Reaper's really going to do. Shouldn't really be any, yeah. to be honest. Well, we'll see exactly where the Reaper gets to scout. Usually, we have seen the Reaper do a little bit more damage than we're used to mm -hmm. uh, from Mario, but yeah, normally it's, it's fairly inconsequential. At the most, they'll get one drone. Usually they just turn that drone into a spine crawler last second. Yeah, yeah. That's generally how it goes. If you lose a drone, in fact, I feel like you uh, have misplayed. Yeah, pretty much. Although Maru has been, what, like that three Reaper game on um, Heavy Rain, he did a fantastic job with the three Reapers. Even against someone that was getting speed quickly. There's the command center. Uh, important to note that he's making it in his main this time. He doesn't yeah. want to take any risks like we saw before, put that on the low ground, and maybe get penalized for it by the Zerg, have a bunch of links come in there and do a lot of damage. Yeah. Well, that did happen before, of course. As we can see, there's no speed this time, so no chance of something like that occurring. And uh, with those two queens on the way, the Reapers aren't going to do very much, as mentioned previously. And I think he, he did only go two this time for those Reapers. Yes, okay. there they are. They're branching out now, just trying to take out uh, any lings, for instance, that we have over here. He wants to get complete map control. Finds those lings, going to be able to kill him. And, uh, you know, we do have factory on the way, as well as that command center still. So anyways, this is, uh, you know, just a little bit of downtime while these guys build up to their strats. So while we have downtime, uh, wh when is the next Game of Thrones coming out? Is that like uh, in a week? April 6th. April 6th? What's yes. the date today? <laughs> uh, March 21? I believe. So it's close. Yes, it's, it's definitely very close. I'm excited, man. I'm really rooting for Joffrey. I hope he stays king for a long well, time. I think he's I think going he's to probably stay king. Everyone knows he's the rightful king. He's the rightful king. Those rumors. They don't have DNA tests. Yeah, they don't, they don't know. That's a nasty rumor, that's man. Jo yeah. That's Joffrey. That's mean. Joffrey that's, that's a mean, nasty high school stuff right there. Yeah. I can't yeah. believe they'd say that. You Joffrey know how painful that has king. to be for his mother to hear something like that? That's, yeah, absolutely. Something so unfounded, so absolutely. unbased. Absolutely. It's okay, you know, being a Baratheon, you know, he'll be, he'll be tough. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah he's, he took that trait from his father, for sure. Absolutely. What else is coming out now on TV? I don't know. <laughs> I don't really watch too much TV. Yeah, so. well, I just watch Game of Thrones. Yeah. you got to finish those books, by the way. Well, you got to finish those books. They're pretty long. They're pretty long. It's a... It's not easy. And I'm reading the Stephen King book right now, so I'm just, like, probably never going to finish those books. Yeah. Um, so we got the third now coming up here. Uh, and the a Reaper, Heli, and Harass, you guys have probably seen it, you know, hundreds oh. of times at this point in time. Nice shutdown there on the yeah. Creep Tumors. Knocking out three Creep Tumors. Nicely I think one done. got canceled. Uh, and he's actually going up to Cloak and continuing his yep. uh, Hellion production. This is very standard play here from Maro. Uh, it's, uh, you, very often we see the Banshee come out here with Cloak. The Hellions, the Reapers, they push, they deny the Creep, they keep the Zerg stuck back at home defending. Uh, and the response here from Life is to get some Roaches. 
Well, uh, you know what? He's getting quite a few roaches, and that's going to help him out with these extra queens to actually be able to hold this off. This is actually a, a good counter against what he's seeing. Well, he's actually headed southbound right yeah. now. He wants to get over here to where this expansion is. There's no bunker there, just some Hellions. There is a Banshee coming out here, but the roaches are pretty... Pretty meaty, beefy units, so mm -hmm. uh, they can get a lot of kills in here. Okay, now he does see that one roach. That's all he needs to know. Um, but is it too late? The other roaches are already up here at the front of the base. Well, that Banshee is really going to be the saving grace here, but still these roaches should be able to get a little bit of damage done. Did force uh, an evacuation, a couple building cancels. Might end up getting a depot or a couple units as well. You know well. what, honestly, this uh, roach attack was not really successful. No. Seriously, if he didn't go for the Banshee. Like, if he was adding Ebays right then or something, uh, the Roaches would have done a lot more. But as is, he really softened them up there. And look at that. Lost almost nothing. Two SCVs and an Hellion so far. It's not much at all. Uh, now, remember, uh, in the previous game, we saw the attack there from uh, uh, Life do very well. I mean, he got, a, what, 19 SCVs, was it, with that first Roach attack? Really crippled his opponent. Mm -hmm. Now, um... You know, with that attack happening, I guess that Marl's in a pretty good spot. And now the Banshee's and the Hellions coming here and hitting the Queens. Not a lot of Roaches here to defend. Kind of crazy that that Roach even lived that long with all those transfuses. <laughs> yeah. I know the Queen's running back. He does have a Spore here, so that's going to help. Another Spore going to pop not up. Attacking. Okay, Roaches are coming down here now. And uh, for that counter, the Banshee's there to defend. That did distract Morrow enough. It looks like the Spore Crawler should finish over there at the third base, making the Banshee harass not as effective. And, uh... <laughs> I just saw three Ebays in the production tab for a moment. That's always fun. <laughs> but the Spire is on the way. So it looks like we are going to see uh, life go into Mutas. But for Maru, which which strategy is he doing? Because he's getting he's getting two Ebays, so I think it's just going to be completely normal. But we've seen him mixing in a lot more mech. It looks like that's not going to be the case, though, this time. Yeah. Um, God, I hope Maru gets through. Mm. <laughs> I really want that. Really? Um, I, I, I wouldn't mind life winning, but either one is fine. They're both yeah. so good. Attack and armor now coming here. Uh, the creep is being spread pretty nicely. Mm -hmm. The game's really beginning to stabilize. The Hellions are going to do as much harass as they possibly can. Well, with these two Banshees, that's going to be quite a bit. He's already getting a good amount of Creep Tumors coming after these Queens right now. You can't just have three Queens attack all this. He does use a Transfuse. Oh, my God. Alive. He just goes for the drones. Oh, my God. He's just running right past indeed. An unexpected oh, oh, oh. move here. Yeah. Oh, well, losing one Banshee, that's never good. But the uh, Hellions, if they get enough workers here, and it looks like they certainly could, this is a huge blow here to life's economy. Yeah, he's killed 12 drones now. Could get more as well. 14 drones he's up to. And it looks like that will be it, but still, 14 drones. Yeah, really nicely done. That's pretty good. Well, it was smart because he identified that there were only queens, one or two roaches there. He said, wait a minute. You know, normally it's a lot of lings here trying to hit me. You know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to run into the main here. You yeah. don't have anything to defend. You don't have anything at the ramp. Nicely well, done. Well, he did lose all his Hellions, so that it could be a problem later on, especially since we see a lot of Lings being made, and he's going to have 1-1. One, one. Uh, but we'll see about that. Notice that Maru had to lift up his third command center as well and kind of retreat it. Uh, he's being very careful now. He knows that he doesn't have any real map presence, and life, if he smells weakness, he goes for the throat. Um, the Immutas are hatching now here and uh, continuing to gather up. We have that armory almost finishing. Supplies right now around where they should be. Uh, the Zerg and a supply lead that normally happens at this phase of the game. They're done making the drones. They start mm -hmm. to power up very quickly. It's up to Terra to get that third during this while defending the Muta Harass. And we have a lot of Lings out, Tasteless. We do. That is so many. Uh, and Baneling speed on the way. He's even getting roast speed, which I kind of like, too. I do like it when they have well, a few roaches. It looks like he wants to do a very aggressive timing here on the third. Well, we don't have any siege tanks, right? And no Widow Mines? This is just like a Hellbat uh, Marine composition with one Banshee in it. Yeah, it's almost all Marines. So Baneling speed is going to be fantastic here, especially since his upgrades are even. There's no way this little army's going to live. Okay, they're coming down now. The third command center has to turn around, by the way, and the Mutas can get it. That would be huge. More Banelings coming in here. Uh-oh, Maru could be in a lot of trouble. The Banelings rolling into the natural right now. Oh going my after God, these SCVs. Too much damage. <gasps> oh, <laughs> those Banelings didn't quite go as, uh, as they wanted, but still a lot of damage being put out here. 23 SCVs killed at this point. Really, these two going blow for blow so far on this map. 
man. Um, I got to say, Maru took a big blow there. This is very hard to recover from. There's no way he can use the third for the time being because uh, the Zerg will just kill whatever's there. The second is barely, it's a barely, barely, barely uh, held on to right now. In fact, with the more additional Roaches coming down here, I think the damage output is just too high. He might have to lift there. And with that being said, it will be very easy, while this is going on, for Light to take a fourth base here. I think we might have GG. I think it's going to be GG right now. That's it. The GG. humans have lost. The humans are gone. The aliens will rule. Finally. Bow down to your leaders, mortals. <laughs> your wow. time is done. It ended in 2014. No more Terrans. No more Terrans. Yay. Finally. When we only had three Terrans a season, I was just counting down the days so they were all so gone. I was so excited to have no more Terrans in this yeah. tournament. Maru crushed here. Probably felt like he was going to win this season with how well he's been playing. Life, yeah. on the other hand, laughing. It's like, it's like yeah. Uh, it's like banding speed. It's good. Nicely done there by Life. I got to say, he did play very, very well. Yeah. Life is fantastic, man. I really think he's going to take this <laughs> season. Me. I I mean, Life versus Parting is something we might see in the round of four. These sure. two have had such a storied rivalry in the past. We've seen some of our craziest games when these two fight against each other. Yeah. Do you remember that game where we had it on the wrong game speed oh, and they yeah. didn't even notice that because it was, was so tense yeah. nobody noticed yeah what well, if they found out like two weeks later or yeah something, well like, it was a while yeah. later i don't <laughs> remember exactly how long but i mean that could happen but even if it's s uh, or rather sue oh god sos and sue of know, course yeah. always doing that but even if sue wins i feel like life has some very strong zvz even though he statistically does. it's his weakest well that does it guys morrow's out sorry no more terrans up next we're gonna have a pvz with sue against parting after this short break